Welcome back to Philippines Uncut. I'm Buddy Conan. Tonight's topic is uh, paranormal, paranormal investigations, part of a, uh, our Halloween All Saints Day special. And our guests tonight are Jade Martin, founder of Profilers of the Known. Joining her is a researcher, Kitko, and photo expert of Profilers of the Known, J.R. Rodriguez. So guys, welcome back to our third and final segment. Now, uh, before we, we pause for our, uh, our break, now we stop for our break, um, J.R. was showing us orbs. We were talking about orbs, and uh, we were talking about how orbs have been thought to represent you know, uh, spirits or souls caught on film. No? And, and, and you said, Jay, that uh, um, if it's a genuine orb, as verified by someone like JR, who's an expert mm -hmm. in the field, you would need additional verification to yeah. say that, hey, this is To validate a that there is something. Yeah. What would that be? What other? We can try getting EVPs, mm. and then I can take another photo. Mm. Maybe it's just something that isn't... Um, haven't taken enough form. Mm. So most of the time, I, I took full-bodied apparitions. Mm. I'm not happy with orbs. Mm. Therefore, I will do my best to take a full-bodied apparition and then I will be happy. Because mm. as long as the evidence is debunkable, questionable, debatable, I don't accept them. Okay. How, until what point do you say, okay, I've had enough evidence, this is enough, this is really the real deal now? I mean, uh, at, uh, until what point do you go? If I can get a very clear EVP mm. and a very clear photo of then a full-bodied apparition, then that's it. So orbs, you're a bit, uh, you're, 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 you went forward, went further, and you got an EVP, you got a full body operation, yeah. and, and things like that. Very clear. Wow, wow. Not just help, not just beating, we, we got clear words. Wow, that's creepy. That is creepy. Creepy stuff. JR, yeah. I, I, I understand you have some more photos to show us. And, yes. uh, you know, uh, okay, while JR is punching it up, um, we were talking about Corregidor, and some, some psychic friends of mine said that they would never set foot in Corregidor because it's like a hotbed. Of activity now do you guys have you guys been there and you guys uh, feel the same way yeah JR yes actually it's there, um, <clears throat> we we actually got a lot of photos mm. uh, me myself at least two and people in my group every photographer got a photo mm. of a spirit yeah. was it verified by EVP and all that uh, you know um, other I didn't have the EVP at that time mm. I didn't record anything but I was able to sure. get this so photo see here it, see it. Uh, okay, first of all, you'll see that it's dark. This is the original shot. I did not use any flash. Is it in the tunnel? Yeah, it's in the tunnel, okay. in Malinta Tunnel. Okay. If you, uh, because I believe that the flash is always, uh, uh, there's always a chance to cheat the photo. So I don't use flash. Then if you remove the darkness by, by pulling up the exposure value, then you can see the, the object or the ghost itself. Wow, yeah, because, you know, as you said, if you use a flash, sometimes you don't know if it's a reflection, maybe yes. it's, it's a lens, it's a lens cap, anything. or, you know, it could but, be. But this light was pulled out of total darkness. From, from the darkness, no, that is, that, yeah. that is amazing, that is amazing. So that's how I know it's uh, authentic. And yeah. another one would be this one. The photo was of three people. Yeah. My girlfriend got the shot. See on this side? See the face oh, and the yeah. white? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. At first, I thought it was someone blocking the camera. Mm -hmm. Then after checking, I, I, I looked at it. In fact, I, I removed it from, my, from the photos that I'm supposed to edit. Then eventually, I realized that it Was that on Career Island as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I realized that it's not normal. If you zoom, in, if you zoom, zoom into it, you'll see that it's just, it's not a person yes, blocking yes. anything. Yes, it's not like, it's, in, 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 it's very distinct. Like you can see the light. It's not like a, a reflection of light. It's something, you know, it's very defined, no? The, the, yes. the corners are very defined. Very wow. clear. Wow. Interesting, uh, interesting stuff. Now, okay, let's, let's talk about, again, your methods and, and the, the activities you've carried out. Have there been times when you guys have been scared? I mean, like, uh, you know, because we're dealing with stuff here which are beyond, really, no? the realm of, 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 of science, so, I mean, almost. No? I mean, this right. is something, you know, breaking new ground here. So have, have there been times you guys right. been scared? Uh, or, or just humans. We do mm. have goosebumps. Yeah. Or, or we're not supernatural beings. We, we do get scared most mm. of the time. But because maybe of experience, uh, it helped us to be more 
um, more calm. More calm. Mm. Uh, it helps us to control our feelings because that's really important. In our field, you need to be really absolutely calm mm. in order because it would affect others. And your judgment, no? Of exactly. course. Exactly. Yeah. Number yeah. one is the judgment. Yes. And we it, somehow we are impacting people. Our impact should be something positive, mm. not something negative. Mm. Because if we impact our clients uh, like we are scared or what, it would impact them, and you know the whole investigation would be. Ruined. Okay. So, okay, we've talked about how you guys investigate. Let's say, okay, because we have five minutes to close. Let's say after investigation, you know, okay, boom. This is not something caused by the, uh, you're, you're not hallucinating. This is not something caused by the wind, whatever. There really is a presence. Mm -hmm. What do you guys do after that? I mean, what, what is the next step? I mean, you, you've ascertained that there really is some sort of paranormal spirit, spirit activity or demon activity. What, what is the next step? Feedback is very important. Mm. Uh, also follow up. Mm. Because, um, you know, one incident of investigation doesn't end there. Mm. It's a continuous process. Okay. Uh, that's why feedback and follow-up is very important. So after the session, we, we give out uh, solutions for them to follow. Now, they have to do their part as well. Of course, of course. It's a two-way process. Okay. It takes okay. two to tango. Now, Jade, um, some other psychics I've talked to said that they don't believe in driving the, 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 the entities away because they say that, you know, they, they're here as well. We have to coexist. They also ex occupy the same space. I'll bet in another dimension, maybe. But, you know, so it's not fair to them mm -hmm. to kick them out, <laughs> kick them out of their home or their space. So do you guys uh, believe in this as well, the coexistence, the principle of coexistence, peaceful coexistence? Depends. If they don't yeah. do you any harm, let them be. Mm -hmm. Ignore them. They're just there anyway. But once they started to become harmful, they've been bothering you a lot, you got sick a lot, you got depressed a lot, maybe there's something you should do. Those are manifestations as well of, of, of how they can affect you, sickness, depression, things like that? Yeah, because Physically, them, physical sickness, huh? Yeah, some of them carry negative energies that can affect you. Mm. So as long as they're not bothering you, ignore them. Actually, it's still better to, get, to be afraid of uh, the living than the dead. There's a, there's a saying like that now. So most <laughs> You're the living, not the dead. Yeah. Most of the time, we, uh, we encourage them to ignore. But if whatever they have in the house is harmful, we will give them advice on what to, how to deal with it properly and how they can permanently solve the problem. Okay. And if that doesn't solve the problem, then what is the last resort? It's a process. I, I still talk to them, call them, text them to ask them for feedback. Uh, I want to know if things work, if the adjustments became uh, advantageous to them or not. It's a process. Uh, even with the body, healing is a process. It's not going to happen overnight. Yes, yes. And interesting, interesting stuff. Uh, how about you, JR? How about your work? How do you see your work moving forward in this field? Well, right now, I'm actually authenticating a lot of photos and EVPs and uh, some videos, actually, some interesting videos. Uh, Basically, I'm, I'm more of an amateur at this. If these guys are the pros, I'm an amateur. I, but I'm still very strict at authenticating. Maybe most of the photos I look at, I really look for proof. If I find that it's not from uh, a raw file, a raw data file, or a photo file, or even the audio is not raw, I usually debunk it. I can't, mm. I can't work with this. It has to be the original file. Mm, okay, okay. Just, just to be sure that, that, that what you're getting is really the real yes. copy, not something that something's messed around a little bit or edited yes. in a way, no? Edited, uh, yes. Let's talk about possession because you mentioned it quickly, I mean, uh, in the second segment. What, how do you guys deal with possession? Do you have experts also? First of all, we have to find out if the, the possession is real or not. Mm. Authentic or not. If mm. it's not, I can just slap her face. <laughs> It should be Come okay. to your senses, no? <laughs> Go back to your senses. Quit messing around. <laughs> okay, but yeah. we do have an yeah. exorcist in the team. So just in case the, the possession is authentic, there is somebody we can call. Mm -hmm. So that's how we deal with possession. Do you guys have members of, 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 of the clergy on, on your team uh, involved yeah. in your operation? The exorcist that we have is uh, an authentic exorcist, mm. uh, a priest who has been trained in the field. No, see, this is what I love about your group. You guys have an atheist almost, no? <laughs> Someone in theology, an IT expert, and you bring all these fields, and a priest, no? And yeah. you bring all these fields together. We also have others. Uh, another we, group and another resource. We resources, have an audio no? expert, a video expert, 
uh, several excellent, experts excellent. in the team. Excellent. We're not really hobbyists. Excellent. Okay, now, um, how do people contact you guys if, if, if they need to, uh, you know, if people watching now have, have problems and they want, if this kind of problem and they want some sort of relief or answers, uh, how do they contact you guys? You can easily find us on Facebook. Mm. Just type profilers of the unknown. Uh, we, are the only, we are the only ones they can find. Yeah. Or they can visit profilersoftheunknown.webs.com. Mm. All the contact details are there. Okay, now, one minute to close. Last words. Let's start with JR. Well, what I can say is don't fear. Easier said than done. Yes, <laughs> but fear will really get you out of place. Mm. If you're in this line, if you're trying to hunt by yourself or with your friends, don't run away when you feel scared, you know. Show what about some people who, who are being haunted? I mean, don't, same advice, don't be scared. Well, for, no, I, I suggest they look for expert help. Mm. Can't fix it on your own. This is a very complicated thing, as Jade yes. and Kit said, you know, very complicated. Yes. Get the experts. Get the experts. Yeah. Very good, very good. Kit? Right. Uh, for those people that are watching and are struggling for a long time, maybe it's time for you to really yeah, seek experts, seek the right people. You know, it should be that, the right people. And if you've been through a lot of um, you know, so-called help, maybe we are the answer. And uh, also, those people that are... Uh, you know, if, if you feel that you are hunted, then let us help you. We can help. Excellent, excellent. Jade? Okay. Um, of course, you will need an expert when you're bothered by paranormal activities. But first and foremost, I advise everybody to be skeptic first. Uh, wag naman yung konting hangin lang, konting anino lang. Konting kalampag lang sa bubong. <laughs> At least find the most logical explanation sure. Sure. why such thing happened. Uh, nauso kasi masyado sa Philippines yung konti bagay lang sinasensationalize. So as much as possible, try to be calm and relax because you're not going to solve anything sure. when you're not relaxed. Yun lang muna. And sure. then the rest will just follow. And then, you know, if, if, if having gone through the whole exercise, the, it's still there, then they call that you guys the experts. Yeah. I, I would suggest you call us. Um, ayoko naman magsabi ng negative about other people. Pero as much as possible, yun talagang matutulungan kayo to deal with the problem properly. Mm. Hindi lahat ng paranormal activities sa dadaan sa pag-aalay ng manok at ng bagboy. You yeah. have to be very intelligent nowadays. Yes. No, no. And, and I could vouch for this because as I said, I've done a lot of this, these shows and you guys, I'm very happy to interview you guys because you guys bring a balance, really. Between, and you guys are really objective and rational and as I said, you bring the science involved and that I think is what's lacking here in this country, this kind of approach. I'm glad you guys are here. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank, you thank you, JR. So thank, you. Kid, thank you. Jade, thank you very much. Huh? And thank we're going to do a part two of this. I'm going to join you in one of your, or, of your hunts and so I can document it and we can show it to the viewers. Great. Thank sure, you, yeah, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank so, guys, you. I hope you enjoyed our Halloween and All Saints Day special, Paranormal Investigations here on Philippines Uncut. Join us again next year here in the show where we talk about what matters to you guys because you guys matter the most. See you next week. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs>